Hi Ben, nice to see you today. I uh, just want to go over the things we discussed during today's lesson. Um, the main area that we talked about was really down to swing plane and swing path. As we've experienced in the past, you were swinging slightly across the golf ball, creating um, the slice shot that you've been getting, and also there was going off quite a long way to the right and a little bit high. We did a little bit of work on it last time, but I think this time we just need to exaggerate it a little bit more, maybe go into a little bit, de little bit more detail about it. So the swing on the right hand side that we took early on in the session, the one on the left is one of the practice drills we gave you to um, to work on. Um, at the minute we did video a practice swing, um, but you can hit golf balls doing the same thing as well. So we'll have a look at your swing on the right hand side. So we've put the little line up there just to show you what the ideal swing plane is. So it's the angle of your body, um, or the angle of your swing that you're going to rotate um, and swing the club around. So as we take your club back, we explained to you before that your hands are a little bit on the inside. And also we did discuss about the width of your swing out. You see there's your the top of your back swing, the club and your hands um, are a little bit flat, a little bit narrowed towards your shoulders as well. So that's going to create a position where you're going to lose a little bit of power. So you've got a very narrow swing out. We explained to you that the further away the club gets from the axis, that the weight or the, the club head will be travelling faster. So as we start the downswing, we can see ideally now we want the club to be on a similar angle to the yellow line. You can just see there it's a little bit steeper. And there's the club head gets outside of the golf ball coming into the ball and then as we said it's working too quickly to the left hand side which is creating that slice spin that you've been getting and also when you come into the into the follow through position again you can see that your swing plane is a little bit flat in relation to where we want it with that line okay so if we just um, <coughs> excuse me a little comparison with your swing during the practice drill. Now in the practice drill we had a basket um, just on the outside of the line behind um, and also one just on the inside. So we said if there's any movements coming from outside the golf ball you would hit this first basket here and also if that basket wasn't there but you still made any movements from an out to in swing path you would then hit this basket here. So the idea of the practice drill was to take the club outside the basket on the way back, but then obviously have the loop inside at the top of your backswing, bring the club back inside the basket on the way down, and then outside and around the basket in front of you there, just to make sure that the swing path is coming from an inside position, and then curving naturally round the outside of the basket in the follow through. So as we just did that on the way back, you can see there, so the backswing is a little bit steep, but as we look at the, the comparison there in the two positions, the two positions there, hands are much higher up. Your left arm is more parallel to the line of the swing play, whereas earlier on, your hands are a little bit narrow, a little bit close to your shoulders, and also the, the difference between the angle of your left arm is a little bit um, too flat in relation to your swing play. So as we continue that swing through, there you can see that little bit of a drop down or the change in the swing plane there. You're now making the swing a little bit flatter. But again, as the club's coming down, right on plane. It's perfectly in, in plane with the line, the yellow line there. Um, as a comparison with the swing earlier, you can see as your hands move slightly forward and the angle there of the club is much deeper in plane. So we now take you to impact, you see now the club is now behind your hand. So now we see the club there is now behind your hand and then it's going to be delivered from an angle which is inside there. Coming into the ball from a nice inside position. So as we continue that swing down, 
you can see there is your clubs coming from a much better angle from inside that basket whereas previously your club there is outside of your hands and then working from outside the golf ball across to the left hand side so that club is now working more from that sort of an angle and a swing path which is creating that fade spin that you've been getting so instead of the club coming from the inside with the good rotation of your forearms which keeps the club face um, and reduces the spin sorry on the golf ball to make it fly a lot straighter whereas from the swing coming across from an outside to inside path is adding that fade spin that you've been getting so and if we continue to look into your follow through position we can see now where your arms are coming up into the finish position there again your swing plane is still at the right angle whereas earlier on you were pulling the club way too much on the left hand side and getting the club a little bit too flat in relation to that swing plane again all these things are allowing the club to be pulled across and creating that fade spin so going through the drills that we've got you've got two baskets there one on the outside and uh, one slightly on the inside so you're taking the club outside the basket on the way back we've got a slight loop on the inside at the top of your backswing and then we're bringing the club back inside the basket um, on the downswing and then on the follow through we're trying to curve it naturally around the basket on the outside that combined with good rotation in your forearm should certainly straighten up that ball flight so keep working on those drills if you've got any problems just give me a call on the other hand uh, good luck with it and i look forward to seeing you again very soon